I am delighted to welcome the international president, executive officers, past international presidents, international directors, past international directors, administrative officers, distinguished lion leaders, honorable guests, fellow lions, lionesses, leos and friends who are present on this occasion. It is great to see the lions across 26 nations participate in this event. I hope all of you are doing good as we were all going through these challenging times of COVID. I am so pleased to inform you that the staff from the various divisions of Lions Clubs International and the Lions Clubs International Foundation have put an enormous effort in bringing up a lot of informative seminars. I must make a mention that the staff in the Isami office in Mumbai, Lion leaders across India and the members of the MD316 have put in a great effort in presenting this wonderful forum. I hope this forum would help all of us to get together to connect and learn for the next three days. Good luck to all of you. Thank you very much. May we invite our international director and the area leadership chairman, Dr. Nawal Malu to present his opening remarks, please. Namaste, good morning, good afternoon, good evening. International President Dr. Jung Yul Choi, immediate past International President and Chairperson LCIF Gudrun Ignidotir, Vice Presidents Alexander Douglas, Brian Sheehan, Dr. Patty Hill, Honorable Past International Presidents Dr. Naresh Agarwal, Mahendra Amar Surya, Dr. Ashok Mehta, my colleague International Directors ID J.P. Singh, Kazi Akramuddin Ahmed, Mohammad Adris, R. Sampath, VP Nandakumar, all respected past international directors, MCCs, DG teams, GAT teams, past multiple council chairpersons, past district governors, lions, ladies in lionism and leos. Heartiest welcome to all in this first ever virtual Isami Area Forum 2020. COVID has given us hard times and difficulties. Lions have been converting difficulties into opportunities. Each and every lion, each and every club, each and every district is making use of this virtual platform for the last eight months. The show must go on and I salute each and every one of you for all the leadership programs and the service activities which are going on in the best possible manner. This Isami Area Forum is also a golden opportunity for all of us. Organizing team under the able leadership of past international director Vijay Raju and has planned three days of impactful learning, sharing, entertainment, etc. etc. For anyone to attend physical forum is a bit costly affair and also it consumes a lot of time. So this is a golden, golden opportunity and my request to all registered lion friends to participate in all the sessions, all seminars and take messages from the keynote speeches and check in for various booths available. As a chairperson of membership committee, 
and as our beloved international program per president dr choice program we want to have more and more membership in our clubs we want to have new clubs extension membership retention and we have to work for specialty clubs i am glad to share that even after africa has been allotted as a separate isami uh, as a separate constitutional area isami continues to be number 1 in membership also for last couple of months isami is number 1 with the highest clubs as on no- 30th november 2020 we have 11111 clubs in isami area in this constitutional area my compliments to leo lion ayush bagla and all the leos of isami for their wonderful work and leadership we we all have to take the leo moment far ahead and at the same time we have to promote leo lion membership we all have very inspirational and leading by example global leader ip dr choi who has been motivating not only the lions of isami but the lions of in, in entire world we all will work hard and see that all his dreams turn into reality in the next 7 months of this lionistic year we are blessed to have the first lady international president gudrun egne dotter chairperson lcif who has been guiding us every time we are proud of you madam future of our organization is no doubtly very good with our great leaders taking charge vice presidents alexander douglas brian shian and dr patty hill we are missing our father of lionism for isami pip rohit mehta but definitely we all will work and perform on the path which he has shown to all of us we all are fortunate to have vice chairperson lcif and past international president dr naresh agrawal past international president mahendra amar surya past international president dr ashok mehta who are the backbone of lionism in this part of the world my sincere appreciation for all the hard work and leadership qualities of all my colleague directors id jp singh kazi akramuddin ahmed mohammad adris r sampath and id vp nandakumar also we have a wonderful galaxy of past international directors i acknowledge their wisdom and contribution not only for isami but for our organization as such gat team is performing very well under the able leadership of global coordinator pip kajit kj habananda and our constitutional area leader pid lion narendra bhandari gat has brought a great change in making each and every club a strong club specialty club program is a great success because of innovative leadership of global coordinator pid sanjay khetan in last two years the new clubs which have been formed more than 50% are specialty clubs in my 31 years of lionism what i have observed that each and every lion member every grassroots lion is an asset for our organization i appeal to each lion and lion leader to use their fullest potential and deliver their best to take this ngo lions clubs international to newer heights in the second century of lionism you all can bring change and innovation in our meetings service project leadership programs we want to serve millions through our hundreds of service temples we are giving the most important aspect of our life that is time so we have to plan our projects of that quality and as per society's expectations which are definitely which have changed in the last two decades more importantly we have to serve for our own satisfaction i wish this historical forum a great success 
my sincere gratitude to one and all from the bottom of my heart. Thank you. Long live Lionism. I uh, wake up three o'clock early morning. During the working, I think uh, what I'm gonna do today, what I'm gonna do tomorrow. So thinking, then I do. Jung Yul Choi has not only watched South Korea transform from poverty to prosperity, he's lived it. I was born uh, during the World War II we had a right after Korean War. We were really all suffering. We had no food. My father passed away before one full year after I born. Mom always teach me, if you work harder, more than the ordinary people, you'll be success. I dreamed I would like to be a uh, billionaire. Choi's mother sacrificed to provide a quality education for her son. She sold out all her property to support 100% until I graduated college. At Dong Ah University, Choi earned a degree in horticulture before getting a master's in business administration. He also met his future wife. Believe it or not, when I met them the first time, I told them, I'm going to propose you to be married with me. I <laughs> don't she thinks I make crazy men. <laughs> Five years later, they were married. She's the most beautiful girl still today. And also I love her so much. She is the best lady throughout all my life. The Choi's have five children and two grandchildren. I would like to be a really good partner because I don't have a partner. He is a person with high expectations, especially of himself. Choi made sure his children had a university education, but also established a scholarship fund for young people in need. Choi's rise to international success began with a focus on education and service to his country. As a lieutenant in the military, Choi served as an interpreter for the U.S. Army. At that time in the Korea, not many people speak in English. Being fluent in English helped Choi advance in South Korea's emerging global economy. Many companies would like to scout me because they started the export, but they do not have someone who can sell it. <laughs> in 1973, Choi launched his business, Koala Limited, which exported shoes worldwide. Choi has used his talents to serve the community through the Busan J. Il Lions Club since 1977. <laughs> When Choi retired at the age of 50, he had so much more to give. That's why he dedicated his life to lions. Serving, so important. Make me so happy. Busan lions feed 600 people in need a warm meal every week and repair houses for elderly living on limited income. When organizing the OCL Forum and the International Convention in Busan, Choi took the opportunities to give back to the city by establishing two lion's parks, a welcome green space in Busan's urban environment. For Choi, hands-on volunteering and financial giving are equally important. 
제일 많이 내셨어. 그 저희들도 따라가기 위해서 계속 지금 내고 있는데 모든 일에 자기가 적극적이고 또 남을 위해 봉사를 먼저 하고 My leadership style is servant leadership. How can I help you to achieve your goal? 저희들한테 갈키기를 servant leadership이다. 진지적인 그런 성격을 가지고 있고. We have to prepare next generation. He'll be the perfect person to bring all the lions together. Our strongest point is its diversity in member. We are all different thinking, more than 200 countries. We are united. We serve through diversity. As international president, Choi will use diversity to bridge all divides. Lions, it has been the honor of a lifetime to serve as your 103rd international president. In the past years, I've seen how the diversity of our members and the service we provided makes us truly a force for good. Now, as the world experiences many unique challenges, I have been asked to serve another term as international president. In the coming year, I will continue to focus on the great diversity of our association and how the perspective of many are what drive our success. We will also expand on this concept and focus on the kindness of lions around the world. The official team of Lions and each international president each, we serve. My message within our team for the 2020, 2021 Lions year will be united in kindness and diversity. I appreciate the trust that you've placed in me to continue to lead us forward. Please know that the world and communities everywhere trust the Lions to help see them through difficult times. Together, we can help provide the hope our world desperately needs right now. Thank you, Lions, for everything you do. Please join me in welcoming our international president, Dr. Yang Yul Choi, for his inaugural address. Greetings, dear my lion. I am honored to join you today for this very special event. Even though the way we meet has changed, I am glad to see that it has not diminished our enthusiasm for gathering together to advance our mission of service. Lions have served for more than a century, and we are more important today than ever before. We are men and women, friends and neighbors, mothers and fathers. We are a global force for good. We serve to strengths our communities and all communities in good time and in time of great need. You and I each made a decision to make a difference, to act, to be the change we want to see in our community. For us, we serve is more than a model. It is a way of life. Let me share my story about why I serve. When I first became a lion, I suggested that my club do a project for open children. So we filled a truck with sports equipment, music instrument, books, and drove it to the open age. We played soccer and volleyball together. We gave the children lesson on how to play 
the music instrument. We brought in a meal and we ate with the children. They were so happy. Many of those children were so isolated and lonely. But on that day, we did not sit next to them as a lion. We sat with them as a family, the only family they had. That is the power of we serve and our service as a lions. We all have a story to tell as a lions. Where we come from shapes who we are and what we do. I am from the Republic of Korea. There is a philosophy in my country that I am sure you know, yin and yang. It is about unity, harmony, balance. It is about bringing diverse things together and forming something new, something bigger, something stronger. That is what we do as a lion. You see, we are united in kindness and diversity. That is my presidential message. It is easy to understand why. There are more than 1.4 million lions. Each one is unique. We have more than 48,000 clubs, and each serve the unique need of their community with unmatched kindness. We are in more than 200 countries and regions of the globe. Think of all the culture and background we represent. Think of all the experience and skills we bring to our service. The challenge facing our community and our world seems so big. But when we unite, we can do so much more things together. We have taken on big challenges for more than a century, and we have come through them all stronger than ever. This past year, we showed the world our strengths. When the world paused in response to this unprecedented health pandemic, lions did not. We did what the lions have always done. We innovated, we read. We found a way to serve safely. And since the start of the pandemic, our foundation had provided more than 5 million US dollars in COVID-19 relief grant to empower Lion to protect the health and safety of their community. Our service is saving lives. Here is a special video to show how we are doing it around the world. As the world faces the challenges of the ongoing COVID-19 pandemic, Lions recognize that kindness matters now more than ever. And Lions and Leos are finding ways to continue to serve our communities, including ordering food delivery for healthcare workers, holding story time for children online, and providing surgical masks to medical professionals and first responders. Empowering us to do more, Lions Clubs International Foundation has provided nearly four and a half million dollars in grant funding for COVID-19 relief, and that support continues to grow. For more than 100 years, in times of need, Lions always find a way to help those around them. And after we emerge from this, we will be stronger than ever. Visit lionsclubs.org to learn more. This incredible work is only possible because of you. You are what drives this great association. And for us to keep our great association moving forward, I would like to take a moment to share some thoughts on how we can best achieve this. We must focus on ways to strengthen our membership so we can increase each club's service fund potential. Remember, no one will ask you if they can become a lion. You have to ask them, and we all must do our part. We also need to continue to prioritize 
the health and safety of every lion and every club. We must be open to new and innovative way for lions to serve safely in their community. We must focus on keeping our members engaged by giving them opportunity to lead and learn. We must create a great club experience that meets their need. Let's make sure that there is a place for people of all ages to serve as a lion, both young and old. Cross-generational membership can significantly increase our membership and our service. We can also create new opportunity to grow our service with a specialty group. Specialty group bring together lion with a common interest to serve in special ways. I believe they are a key to bringing new lions together to serve in new ways. Let us continue to serve the pressing need within our communities. And let us also remember our global causes, diabetes, vision, hunger, environment, and childhood cancer. People deserve a healthy home, a healthy community, and hope for a better tomorrow. We serve can help make that a reality. So that's supporting our foundation through Campaign 100. Since 1968, Lions Club International Foundation has granted more than one billion US dollars to empower the service of Lions. Campaign 100 will help ensure that Lions have the financial support to empower their service around the world. I encourage you to join me in supporting our foundation and this campaign. I am a lifelong supporter of LCIF, and I hope you will be too. I hope that you take this priority to heart. When we share a common vision for the future, we can accomplish so much more together. Just look at what we accomplished together last year. We served more people than ever before in history of Lions. More than 275 million people. That is something worth celebrating. Let us watch a special video to celebrate our achievement. Congratulations again, Lions. Together, you have set a new standard for our service. We may be the most diverse organization in the world, but we are all united by service. We believe that if you work harder, extraordinary results will come. We believe that we must prepare for the future by taking care of ourselves, our community, and our world. So how do we do it? 
We do it by embracing our diversity. We do it by putting our kindness in action. We do it by keeping our club healthy and strong. We do it through the contribution of each and every member. When we are united in kindness and diversity, there is absolutely nothing we cannot achieve. Thank you, Ryan, for making our world a better place for all. Thank you, International President Dr. Yang Yul Choi, for those inspiring words. We are privileged with the opportunity of having both of you for this forum. That was a beautiful portrait of the President Dr. Choi and Mrs. Seng Bok.